really, really dark here. I hope my light up belt is enough. Kind of anxious about today. Today's Thursday, tomorrow, Friday. I'm leaving town for what's well, gonna be like a week and a half or something. I'm going to Mexico City tomorrow. I'll be speaking at the OFF Festival, that's O-F-F-F -F -F Festival in Mexico City on Saturday, I think. So if you're in Mexico City, definitely come say hi. But then I'm going to LA, and then I'm going to San Francisco, and then somewhere else. So everything's like crammed into today. The thing about these kinds of days is that it's just back to back to back meetings and phone calls and email and stuff so I can be situated for when I leave town. Not a particularly exciting day. My little brother, my little brother just texted me. He's apparently, he's outside right now. Hey, did you see a guy out there that looks just like me? Yo, what's new Dean, anything new? Yeah, nothing. Well then it was good to see you. Yeah, talk to you. <laughs> That was my little brother. We did talk about stuff, I just didn't put that in the vlog. I don't want you to think that he just came and I said what's up and then he took off. Okay, this is one bright spot in an otherwise like really abysmal day. Tomorrow I fly to Mexico City. I didn't want to leave my electric skateboard behind. So I called this company in Texas that makes like a boosted board bag and they overnighted me this thing oh yeah ready for the airport all right let me leave that behind many 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 months ago here in the vlog i introduced you to my friend oscar he's the guy that i made the mcdonald's video with Oscar made this totally dope video that I produced. I helped him with it. And he finished it like six months ago, but the, he just released it today. How's the video doing? Online? Yeah. Pretty good. This crazy office is Oscar's studio. It's a good spot. What do you do up there in the loft, Oscar? Sometimes we shoot, sometimes we watch movies. It's sort of a storage space right now, all purpose. Okay, give me a preview of your new movie. To Los Angeles to make a music video. Rented a car, had dinner with a friend, went location scout. Tried to hold the camera while gassing up the car at the same time. Thursday, figured out casting, found a farm to shoot out, milk a goat, rented lights, rented a camera, trucks, wardrobe, props, bought food for the crew. So go check out Oscar's video because it's awesome. Yeah, check it out. And this is the guy that can eat like the biggest McDonald's cheeseburger ever made, so. How was your day? Okay? Yeah. You're kind of wearing a funny outfit today, Candace. I had a sweater on over my juicy. Hi, puppy. Hi. Are you eating grapes? Are you eating little baby grapes? The biggest bummer about going on this trip for like 11 days or whatever is going to be not seeing Candace and not seeing Francine and not seeing Owen. I hate that. Heading home now. Got the boosted board. Gonna drop my stuff off, give the baby a bath, and then we're doing a little company party tonight for Beam. I gotta go catch up with the Beam squad. Okay, I'll see you guys in an hour. Bye, girls. Bye, Franny Faith. Goodbye. Headed to meet the squad now. They are at Chelsea Piers. I think they're bowling. I'm gonna stop by. Oh. I'm gonna stop by the Apple store first. I just wanna see what the lines look like for the iPhone, which comes out tomorrow morning. So last, last year for the iPhone 6 launch, I made a movie about how the iPhones were sold primarily on the Chinese gray market. And what that means, they were bought here in the States and then sold in China. And I got in a lot of trouble for the video because People said it was racist because it was mostly Chinese people on the line. Race had nothing to do with it, 
It's just that the market for these things was in China. So most of the people waiting in line happened to be Chinese. It's like if, the, if there was a market for it in New Jersey, everyone in line would be from New Jersey. You guys, just clean up this area right here. Just keep this area clean. Thank you. Oh, look at this. And this is the iPhone line situation in New York City. You know, it's an amazing phenomenon that started already where, uh, what would you call it? Exporters of the goods pay these people to sit there and take the, uh, and get them. I know last year there was, it was crazy with the fights that broke out and everything. It's such an interesting phenomenon that waiting outside to buy then resell the phones. I don't blame those people. If you need money and they're getting paid to wait in line, like why not do it? I also don't really understand why Apple doesn't just end cash sales. I think the bowling alley is in here somewhere. Actually, you know, I have no idea where I'm going. Where would I find the bowling alley? Here's 60, up the ramp to your left. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, is this my fried food? Uh -huh. Sorry I'm late, guys. Getting out of control back there. It's crystal light. No, Jack, everyone's beaming. I didn't actually drink any. That was just, just for show. Hey, my name is Josh. If you want to know what life is like as a part-time lumberjack, musician, or whatever else I may be doing, follow me on Beam at Kansas underscore Josh.